welcome to my exhibition booth. So today I'm gonna present before you a model which can be an alternative to the present day air conditioning and heating. The reason which I came up with this model is because of our over dependence or over usage of the ACs and heaters at the houses. We all know a large amount of chlorofluorocarbons or CFCs are being released into the earth's atmosphere whenever we use these air conditioners which is a major reason for the ozone depletion which allows the harmful UV radiation to enter into the earth's atmosphere. When we think about heating, even though we have electric heaters and electric fireplaces at our houses, we still depend or a majority of us still depend on petroleum based products like coal as a source of heat and warmth. So it is a high time that we think sustainably. One way is to use our renewable natural resources. A best example is the solar energy from the sun. So this model is powered by the solar energy which powers all the other devices which brings out the heating and cooling effect. So one of the basic device that we are going to use to bring out this heating and cooling effect is called as thermocouple. So thermocouple is a device which consists of two dissimilar metals which are joined at two junctions termed as the hot junction and the cold junction. One of the important characteristics of this thermocouple is that it undergoes thermoelectric effect which are the see back effect. See when we produce, uh, provide two different temperatures at these two junctions it creates a voltage or it creates an electric current uh, in the outer circuit. This is called as a see back effect. And the other one is called as the Peltier effect. The Peltier effect is the complete opposite of the see back effect. We provide a voltage and electric current and it produces cold in the cold junction and heat in the hot junction. So this model makes use of the Peltier effect to bring out the intended cooling and heating that we require. It is important to note that we see the thermoelectric effect in a thermocouple because of the presence of two dissimilar metals which have different electron densities. Coming back to Peltier effect. Peltier effect is noticed when we pass an electric current through this thermocouple and we can see that at one junction the heat is absorbed to the other junction and here as a result this side cools and this side gets heated that's why it's termed as the cold junction and the hot junction. So in order to see the Peltier effect it is important for us to choose the right thermoelectric material to make this thermocouple. So these metals must have high electrical conductivity so that current passes through this thermocouple without any heat loss due to the less resistance. Then the metals must have very low thermal conductivity so that the heat produced at this junction, hot junction, doesn't get transferred to the cold junction. So nowadays the frequently used combination is bismuth telluride and copper which has higher efficiency than other combinations. Since the thermocouples which provide the heating and cooling effect are powered by the sun or the solar energy, the design and the location of the house matters. The solar panels and the large windows must be facing towards the south that is towards the equator so that it receives maximum sunlight. Then the tilt of the roof should be in such a way that we receive maximum uh, sun rays onto the solar panels. During the summer season and winter season, we can see a change in the position of the sun. This is due to the tilt of the earth and the revolution of the earth around the sun. During the summer season, we can see the sun in a higher position due to the tilt of the north pole towards the sun. As a result, we can see maximum sun rays falling onto the solar panels and very minimum sun rays falling into the inside the house. During the winter season, we can see most of the sun rays falling into the house which will provide warmth by its own due to the presence of this glass which will retain the warmth inside the house by the greenhouse effect. The system of thermocouples intended for heating shall be placed inside the roof or on the ceiling and the one for heating shall be placed in the walls of the house. The degree of the hotness or coldness can be controlled by changing the voltage or the amount of the current passing through the thermocouple. Coming back to the model, we'll be discussing what we'll be doing during the summer season. As mentioned earlier, 
The thermal covers for cooling will be placed inside the roof or the ceiling of the house. When the electric current generated from the solar energy is allowed to pass through the thermal couples, as usual, we can see the formation of hot junction, uh, heat from the hot junction and cold from the cold junctions. Uh, what we require during the summer is the cold from the cold junction. So we insulate the cold junctions of the thermal couple in such a way that the cold cannot escape. As a result, it cools the air inside the insulator chambers and is stored. While in the case of the hot junction, the heat from the hot junction are allowed to dissipate with the help of a metal rod into the surroundings. The stored cold air will be allowed to pass through the vents under the thermocouples into the rooms below. The cold air being denser moves down, becomes warm and moves out through the vents on the walls. And during the winter, what we want is the heating effect of the thermocouple. We do exactly the same thing that we did with the thermocouples on the ceiling. We properly insulate the hot junctions of the thermocouple which heats the air inside the insulator chamber and we allow them to pass out through the vents. It is important for us to see some of the backup plans in case the solar panels or the thermocouples are under maintenance or are damaged by some external factors. One of the plan is by using an evaporative cooling chimney. So these chimneys can be erected which can be used for cooling purposes during the summer season. So how this works is by it takes in warm air by using a fan into the chimney and inside the chimney we have small pumps and an evaporating pad which by the process of evaporation and condensation will cool down the air which will move down the chimney and will be pumped into the room via this vent. The cooling tower was a backup plant during the summer season. Now during the winter season, as I mentioned earlier, the large windows will provide a heating by its own that is by retaining the warmth inside the room by the greenhouse effect. Now if the rooms or the wall facing the windows is of a darker color, it itself will help in absorbing some heat and will act as a thermal mask. That is, it will help in storing the heat energy. Speaking of the advantages and innovations in this model, you might have noticed that we don't use any refrigerants. So there is no emission of chlorofluorocarbons into the atmosphere. Then there is no moving parts except the fans and the pumps which is used just to increase the efficiency of the heat transfer. So there is less maintenance and longer lifetime for this model. Then it works more silently than the, our normal air conditioners. Then it can also be used in remote areas with extreme climatic conditions like in the deserts. Now if we think of working an air conditioner on the electricity produced from the solar, uh, solar panels, it won't be possible but a thermocouple can work with electricity from the solar panel. So thermoelectric heating and cooling powered by solar energy is one of the best substitution to the present day air conditioning and heating. Thank you everyone for joining me in this exhibition. Abir Hospital Healthcare You Can Trust Now we know man 20 years of care and concern Multi-specialty hospital with surgical excellence Round the clock emergency